Last week, I asked you what were the top five champions you had used through Act 6 and slash or Act 7. This particular question was posed on the community page. As a lot of you know, I'm using the community tab a lot more to kind of create videos, get more accurate community-wide data and information so it can create like better guides, better talking points, and allow that kind of like uh, interaction between uh, the, you know, the creation of videos. So yeah, it's been really cool to do these and I will be continuing on. So look out for more things like this. So we're going to look at a new tally uh, video of uh, champions used in Act 7 and Act 6. I also went back over some old Act 7 guides. I also kind of returned back to my like old like Act 6 guides and so many different things as well. Just going to gather some info of like what champions I used. And one problem I seem to occur in this video is that the, the problem is players were getting champions that say back in the day, like loads of players, OG players over the last like three, four years had done Act 6 or parts of Act 6 with say certain older champions and now there's more modern champions. It was difficult to gauge whether or not players were saying that they were using the champions for things like Act 6 and Act 7 or just Act 6 is exclusively, which then I'm thinking like, okay, did somebody really use a Hercules against stuff in Act 6? But then you kind of think about it, like if you're new to the game over the last, say, year, especially from July, you might be already kind of like pushing stuff in early parts of Act 6, or maybe even went like in a year to kind of grab that uh, throne breaker, you know, I, you just don't know. People come into the game, become highly skilled and all that stuff. And for those interested, the champions I've used a lot through things like Act 6, the very early point of Act 6 was the utilization of Warlock, which you can see right there. I've got two versions, the five star one, which I think I use more of. Uh, or was it the, no, I want to say it was the six star version of rank one and rank two that I used a lot. The other champion in the kind of like huge amount of usage in Act 6 and going into Act 7, uh, in you know, comparison to both of them, is Nick Fury for sure. And of course, with the entry of the likes of Doctor Doom, which I had the five star version before getting the six star version, that is definitely a shot of a champion I've used a lot. And then when coming into getting human torches, especially at the, I think, first time I did the Abyss Clear, it was kind of like that. that that kind of one I was using a lot through Act 6. Uh, so yeah, like lots of kind of like really key champions. And based on like the entirety of Act 7 and the latter points of Act 6, it was definitely like Apocalypse that I used a lot. And Apocalypse I think I picked up at the end point 2020, I want to say, uh, or 2019, one of the two. But in any case, like uh, definitely going through that completion of Act 6 or we'll finish off that last bit, that Grandmaster fight. Uh, but um yeah, just using another content and a lot of Act 7 I've used at Apocalypse definitely puts him into the top. But let's have a look at what you've got to say. And yeah, as I said, like loads of people came up with all the champions through things like Act 7, Act 6 that they had, and it was just, uh, it was great. So thank you very much to everybody that uh, took the time to do this. And as I said, it's a great starting point to create accurate guides based on community info and data. And based on all of the data that you provided, we created a fantastic tally system for this to look at top champions being used. This doesn't mean to say that your favorite champions you used in Act 6 or Act 7 respectively are bad. It just means that for whatever reason, a lot more players frequently use these champions in things like Act 7 and Act 6. And the totals look like this. So right at the very bottom of uh, with Act 7, and this is the thing, Act 7 comes at a point of the narrative of lots more champions being available to do the content because it doesn't feel overly specific. Whereas Act 6 was very, very specific, and the need for certain champions and specific counters still something that is reigns as a big problem today, which Kabam are loosely addressing new champions being inputted and also synergies uh, for said champions. But I digress, the point still remains, there's lots of champions that players are using to take on Act 7, and that creates the fun element to it. The big surprises really come in shape and form of the utility elements and not really specific natures, but champions that have a lot more to their kit. I suppose it is a utility. And there are some things that, that correlate and go from one side to the other, especially when you look at Act 7 and you look at, okay, well, players are looking for the likes of uh, Doctor Doom, Red Magneto, Apocalypse, Hercules, Mole Man, Human Torch, Nick Fury, Warlock, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, Ghost, Archangel, Cap, Infinity War, Cosmic Ghost Rider, uh, to name but a few, and going down the least, list even. 
And when it comes to the content of Act 7, it, as I said, it's the fun. It doesn't feel overly specific, uh, but definitely it is uh, is enjoyable and, and stuff like that. When the things, when the table turns is when, as we said, looking for utility, looking for different factors, and looking to do stuff like Act 6. I would say that Kabam have kept the same kind of like narrative of uh, like lots of kind of hashtag metal champions for uh, doing for uh, for Act Seven, which means that Reg Magneto is very popular, as well as other ones like Apoc for stimulating mutant-based champions, Hercules as well because hey he does lots of damage and things, and also the fact that Mole Man is an absolute beast. But it doesn't take away from the fact of the old meta for interaction. And one of those old metas for interaction was um, the delightful Cap Infinity War. A lot of players would take Cap Infinity War with a load of different champions on the team, which allowed for multiple uses in different things by getting an armor break with a cosmic champion, by shrugging off uh, debuff effects, by having a uh, skill based champion on the team. As well as what the champion unlocks from a synergy perspective, but mainly with like the 200 signature kit that you get. Colossus, Ghost, I mean Ghost Luck, you know, you're using as a direct counter for the likes of um, of Cap Infinity War in 6.3.6, as well as various other champions. Like Warlock was a great champion to counter uh, Revo Revolt and uh, uh, the Havoc boss. You've got champions that throw the uh, the kind of the bleed. Uh, debuffs and taking on Medusa so there's lots of things with that that it ticks the boxes and chapter 4 of act 6 has a lot of hashtag metal based champions with Darkhawk with I think it's uh, the Hydra I can't remember it's off the top of my head now the Hydra Adaptoid uh, which I think it's, it's like Adaptoid whatever as well as various different champions that have hashtag metal on the various different paths there's so much that it um, does and unlocks it's weird not to see Corvus Glaive quite up there because that was a champion I used um, quite a bit and I only had like two people kind of mention it. But it still doesn't take away from the fact that, you know, I used a lot of that champion. Um, but yeah, Cap Infinity War was is a bit of a rarity there. And also Gear Team 2099. And that comes with the age of the champion as well. This was very much, I think, the 2019. So it was a champion that kind of unlocked uh, some doors for players as potential options to take on this content in Act 6. With having uh, like a, 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 a bountiful kit that's able to take on certain situations and deal with certain like things and having like power control from the sp1 there are so many things that a champion unlocks as well as doing great amount of damage at the same time and that lovely degen which isn't specific to say okay well you know they can shrug it off the enemy so there's lots of things that it unlocks human torch has always been since the buff a great option for doing multiple amounts of extra damage and uh in, and yeah and all those those things like that especially as i said the main thing is the age and that's the big thing. Cosmic Ghost Rider, when that was released, was about a time when, you know, this content was, was kind of then troublesome. So the great amount of damage dealing that could be done. And that is probably why you see that Cosmic Ghost Rider uh, be quite far up there. Very popular still, but not as popular as, say, it uh, used to be, especially with a lot of people nowadays opting for Hercules. But I still rate Cosmic Ghost Rider. And I've got a rank 3 6 star version, so I can't really complain. But now, all that being said, and thank you to all that amazing data from the community... What are, over both of them, combined, the top five based on uh, this particular info? So let's get to the point of the video and let's combine those those champion numbers and look at the usage from players. So we've got this here, the top five. The top five most champions used between uh, Act 7 and Act 6, respectively. As you said, like it's difficult to get like a real kind of gauge between like um, of over both, but like in a nutshell, these champions work over both uh, number five is nick fury makes sense because like the champion gets that uh, phase two lots of bleed damage and is great against a whole plethora of champions that do miss and evade makes total sense more for i think the purpose of uh, act seven uh you'll see hercules and apoc which is makes up our number four you know Apox great as a champion at uh, supporting. I'm not sure I see huge... I mean, look, it's going to be used in Act 6, but there's a lot of champions that, I mean, back in the day, I used to use, like, Warlock a lot more, and that's why he is indefinitely kind of, like, uh, you know, one of the top four. An option with a certain synergy to take down uh, Mr. Sinister, as well as a whole kind of different uh, usage scheme in things like uh, 6.2.2. Three, I think it was when you've got like the Icarus and you want to stroke it off. Parry heavy, parry heavy works a treat, but also power control and also suppressing things like healing 
great option, great champion. And of course, we, we've mentioned um, you know in the past about Hercules and his appeal with his damage potential. A lot more in Act 7. I see a lot of people. That's where he factored in uh, hugely into the usage for Act 7. Haven't seen so much people like saying about Act 6, but it is what it is. I'm sure he's still usable. At number three, and this is a joint third place as well. Joint third is, first of all, Black Widow Clairvoyant. A massive champion, um, potent, not potential, but like a, a great champion used uh, for, for Act 6. I used her a lot. And in particular, Act 7, she's very much used by a lot of players. Uh, very popular. More so, I think, popular in uh, Act 6 because of like her uh, adaption to things. And Act 6 is a bit scuffy at best of times with the different types of nodes. Regeneration nullifies. Uh, we've also got like uh, power, yeah, power control. Um, yeah, the list goes on with kind of like a battle. I mean, I've covered so much times of like all the stuff she does. You know what I mean. But also, the joint, uh, joint third place is got to be Human Torch. Human Torch deals with so many things mystic champions uh what she, he's able to kind of like uh take on heal healing champions excessive healing champions of uh, champions y you name it the champion does some really kind of decent rotations takes on like terrible mystics like mojo for example and then it kind of puts us into the uh, the fun zone which is number two uh mr mole man yo mr mole man it's got loads of utility we all know that lots of damage um yeah shock immunity track you see dealing with the vay champions and is it auto block champions or miss oh, i think it's auto block champions so yeah he's got his like usage great champion and then the final the final one well final joint number one is uh apocalypse no apocalypse uh red magneto and um and dr doom these two just make you know for just taking on content a lot of champions as soon as, as, soon as like magneto was buffed and as soon as he got that massive overhaul buff and he was able to deal with hashtag metal champions. He has been a godsend for players dealing with certain situ situations. As I said, a lot of the adaptoids and also a lot of um, and a lot of like Act Six stuff that he can actually deal with. But as soon as you come into Act Seven, oh my God, he comes into his own. Uh, in the last kind of Act Seven Point Four, with a lot of bosses being hashtag metal champions, roots where there's hashtag metal champions on on them, he is an absolute godsend. And I thank God that Kabam kind of like you know made him uh, as he was. The secondary to that, the second number one, it's got to be Doctor Doom. Of course it is. Doctor Doom deals with some easy rotations, doing shock, doing nullification, uh, quick to power gain, quick to power control, gains a buff. He's got loads, and he's a fantastic asset for any team. So, yeah, I mean, that I think that's a pretty solid list, which everyone kind of helped out to do. And that has been it. That's been, like, look, there are a lot of them a joint fight, a joint kind of, like, positions. But, look, popularity is popularity with this, these champions. And it definitely a little bit of, just a smidge changed from the, um, the kind of the previous top five video I did, uh, because there's all about more of an emphasis of utility especially when you go to things like Act 6 in particular. Very interesting to see the data. Thank you very much for watching this video. I might leave a, a link to it in the description as to, like, you know, interest if you want to see it. But apart from that, thanks very much to everyone who took part. And we'll be doing another video similar to this where we get people's feedback and data and information um, very, very soon. So look out for that in the community tab. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Check out some other content, which will be located on screen right now. And I will see you in the next video, whatever that may be. Bye-bye.